Hey there, sports fans. How's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood Deadpool here. Just looking at a loot crate. You've seen these before. Have you ever seen me open one of these before? This is going to be an enjoyable experience. Do mm -mm. you know why? Because this month's crate is dead. As in me, Deadpool. So this was made for me, not for you. Me, not you. That's why I had to come down here and kill the dude who got this one. So I can open it and enjoy it for myself. So let's go and see what they've got with my lovely visage on it. Come on, come on. Let's get this thing open. Oh, and that is one handsome gentleman. Look at it. Maybe we should do exactly what the guy normally does whenever he's looking at one of these stupid things. Start with a t-shirt. Take it out and put it in the wide angle. Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Loot Crate. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the really terrible Ryan Reynolds Deadpool impression, but um, I thought it was appropriate because I have the gloves. <laughs> so I had to give it a try in some way, shape, or form. These gloves are absolutely terrible. I can't actually straighten my index finger properly because they're so really small. I don't know where I got them from, but they definitely weren't intended for a Deadpool costume. It just so happened to be that they're the right color. Although, ironically, if you think about it, um, if you ever look for a pair of Murphy's Gillick gloves in down colors, red and black, I'm almost sure that's what they base his gloves off of <laughs> because it's got the same kind of textured rubber and stuff on them. So yeah, obviously, Deadpool uh, is one of the main themes for this month's crate. It was February, dead, and we've got a t-shirt to check out. As is every, like every crate does not have a t-shirt in them. That's like the point of the little promises that they make at the beginning of the years. And they've said that we're going to get one of these in every single box. And look at this. Look at this bad boy. I'm happy with the color. I'm happy with the print. Happy with the content. Only thing I'm not too happy with it's the thickness of the material, which um, surprises me. Uh, I expected like a Marvel official merchandise to actually have a thicker or maybe a stronger blend of cotton on it. This really feels like after a wash or two, it would fray a lot. This does not feel like a really hard wearing piece of clothing in any way, shape or form. And obviously it isn't, it's market merchandising material. I'm sure they probably like would drop the thread count for um, t-shirts that are gonna be given away for nothing. So this is definitely not a, a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, doesn't say so in any way, sign or mark on the clothing. And also feels a bit light. So um, this is a summer t-shirt, um, but I'm looking forward to wearing it because I actually do think red's one of my good colors. I mean, I think I grow it naturally myself. It goes well with it. But uh, yeah, we've got a really cool print of Deadpool hanging upside down so we can sit and look at the Merc with the mouth ourselves. And he's saying tacos, which, uh, not the right word, isn't it? I'm, shouldn't it be chimichangas? Or is it just the fact he's actually saying tacos because it's healthier? And chimichangas are fried, so it's uh, worse for you. And this is meant to try and market to the children who weren't able to go and see that movie lately. So yeah, red t-shirt, Deadpool-esque, tacos. <laughs> so we'll put that down there. Let's jump back into the crate and see what we else we got in here. We've got a Q-Fig. Loot Crate Q-Fig Deadpool. Yeah, I actually like the design. I like the pose on this. <laughs> it says it's crotch thir first, straight in there. Yeah. We need to take this out of the box and have a proper look at it. But um, for now, we'll just actually flick through. Wait, what? Eat, eat blazing doorknobs of death banana face. Um, so I'm assuming... I'm getting a real feeling that Loot Crate's really appealing to a younger audience. <laughs> um... Or just the marketing is actually purposefully kind of like working that way. This feels like the ultimate Spider-Man version of Deadpool, which to be honest with the cutesy design probably is appropriate. But um, yeah, let's take a look at this in wide angle view and take a proper appreciation of it. Okay. Let's like flip that lid down so we can actually have some kind of platform to put it on. So, opening up, opening up, opening, opening, opening up, opening. Opening, opening up this figure. Right. Yeah, go over the way, trash. Yeah, so that's actually not too bad. I actually don't like that. Smoky, explody, and uh, yeah, that's totally correct because they actually did bother to put a bulge in his pants. Let's see, can we get a better view on this? Let's give it a wee tweak on the focus. So yeah, what we have here is Deadpool, mid-explosion, slowly thrusting his balls into your face as he launches himself, two-sorted, through the air to impale you and turn you into a fucking cabal. So yeah, 
the uh, the figure's uh, quality, the actual like the explosion, like I like the the clarity and the cloud. It actually is a bit transparent towards the uh, the smoke that uh, looks like it's lighting Deadpool's back. Kind of reminds me of one of the scenes from the movie. If you have seen it, and if you're too young to have seen it, uh, sorry, that sucks to be you. But yeah, I'm a little bit concerned with one thing. Uh, well, obviously, it says Loot Crate exclusive on the bottom here, but it's the um, a little mark on the actual base, as well as a little mark on the top of the base as well. So it's not um, it's not exactly in perfect condition. But it's a little bit disappointing, and um, as we will see soon, a little bit disappointing in general. Because of the, if this like, well, that's disappointing for me because there is a variant version of this figure that was also available in the boxes. So right, we're pretty much now that you see that we've got a brand new set. Let's get ourselves uh, Deadpool situated amongst his people in between Pip Boy and uh, Groot. I think that's actually a good spot for him. Yeah, I think I'll, I think he'll stay there. Although I might put him over with the, actually, yeah, put him over here. He'll probably enjoy being closer to the sexy ladies instead. Ah uh, well, sexy man's as well. Yeah, to be honest, he's probably he's pansexual. He'd probably have sex with Groot as well. Who cares? Um, right, back to the box. Doo -doo -doo. So we got a pin. Obviously, the loot pins that come out every single month now. This one is a an undead box, an undead loot box. So yeah, um, I'm not displeased by this. It's actually a nice wee pin. The thing that you get with it. I'm not that interested in. It's a mobile game of The Walking Dead. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a proper look at it, but from my first glancing look, so don't judge me on that, it's a clicker that tells you like, uh, pick loot supplies from here, wait four and a half hours, or buy uh, some loot, buy uh, uh, some premium credit, or buy some looter, uh, like lock picks so you can unlock this faster. I'm not a fan of those style of games. Never have been, never will be. I've got uh, gotten into one or two of them over time, and then got to realize, like, what the hell am I doing? Like, it's something that you do in the time in between. I'd rather be thinking rather than actually mindlessly clicking, so I, I don't really play them. But yes, the pin itself looks fabulous, and I look forward to getting all the ones that they continue on to do month by month. So, obviously, I, the reason why I knew about the details that are in this crate this time is that I had to reshoot this because the audio went to crap, and I've already opened my little Walking Dead figure. Which is an option of either a burning zombie, Daryl Dixon, or the father of Carl! So, um, yeah. I'd rather have had one of these, the figures on the back, the actual McFarlane toy series for Walking Dead, which look pretty badass, as they always have. Um, really high detail, kind of like movie realistic uh, figures. But, um, Michonne. Michonne would be the one to want. I'd, I'd, I'd want Michonne. Or if they're going to do ones of the combat characters, the, the chick with the sniper rifle. Can't remember her name. It's been a long time since I read the books. But yeah, uh, the figure I got was the Burning Zombie. So uh, yeah, I would have been happy with uh, Daryl, uh, which would have been nice. I'm sure that's the one that people desire out of the three. But the Burning Zombie, I'm going to build and use as a D&D figure for the next PlayStation I have. So um, this is actually not too bad, but I don't particularly care. Uh, it's a it's a mini figure. It's a uh, basically detailed, but it's got a big, goofy head in it, so it reminds me more of a Titan than it actually does a burning zombie. So that's why I'm going to use it as a zombified Hulk creature thing, maybe in a future D&D campaign. So, moving on to the last thing in the box. And I know it's the last thing in the box because, like I said, I've already looked through this one. Ugh, come on. There we go. It was really hard to lift that out. So, Walking Dead. Soap on a rope. Soap on a rope. Soup on a rope of human ears. Yeah, uh, the Walker ear necklace. Sure, um, I'm sure there's a, a, a creep factor to that. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, I last first time I saw it that I actually was creeped out by it was whenever I was a kid and I saw it in Universal Soldier because I'm all ears. Was a creepy line to be hearing from uh, Lundgren at the time. Wasn't it Dolph? It was Dolph Lundgren that played the bad guy on Universal Soldier, right? Check the clip. I'm pretty sure it was him. Um, yeah, so soap and a rope. I will never ever take this out of its packaging to use it as soap. I fear what the smell might actually be. I also fear the texture of the ears and hand, that waxiness, and I would never want that to touch my skin. So, as anything other than a piece of curio, this is worthless to me. Or I'm sure people will use it as cosplay, but I'd rather, like if somebody was using a cosplay, I'd to be honest, it doesn't be creepy to see somebody wearing it as a cosplay because uh, you could 
be better off making latex ears of your own. This does not appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. I mean, even the shapes of the ears that are actually in this, like that one in particular, it looks like it's an inverted ear, and it looks like it's the, the ears like back rather than the front, which I think it may actually be. But yeah, nah, nah, nah. Nah, no, not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Do not want. Do not want at all. So, what have we got left before that box decides to skip the, the table? Right, we have the Dead Magazine, which as always is a uh, Loot Crate content bible. So we'll work away from the back and make sure we have everything they were meant to have. We have the pin with a copy of Road to Survival, which uh, yes, like I said before, is a game I don't particularly care about and I will not be playing. We have our Daryl ear necklace to make sure that you know what it would look like around somebody's neck. And that is probably the most unhappy, uncomfortable face that I would probably pull while having to wear that around my neck for a photo shoot. Yeah. So also we got your little figures here. Um, my little zombie guy, that's what he'll look like whenever he is actually built up and done. Our t-shirt, of course, with Deadpool. And this is the thing that kind of, not upset me, but I'd rather have actually got, I'd rather not have been a variant figure that would have been like a loot lottery than what happens whenever you have a blind figure drop in a box. The blind figure drops in a box are okay, but whenever there is actually a figure and only one other alternative, it's also the same feeling I get whenever somebody, like whenever they do a figure and then the only other possibility of it is the clear version, which um, is almost undisplayable because it may look cool, but uh, nobody can tell the details in it in any way, shape, or form. So in this case, I'm not particularly happy with the uh, the X Force version being the limited edition. Whenever there's only one possible figure to have. But I mean, they've done it so many times before. Um, I'm not like, what can I say? Like, well, I can't get too upset about it because they do limited figures all the time. So you're always kind of getting a loot pool um, to, to be selected from. Which in the last case was actually a um, the what sweets I got the high chew and the anime lucrate was the loot pool and I was devastated after I ate the entire packet anyway, but um yeah I was upset by that. I zombies Rahul Kulik Kuli sorry Rahul Kuli 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 yes but I cannot pronounce names today, but yeah he was awesome in that show it was a really good show and uh, what really good show he was really good show I keep thinking about the angles where I'm at the point these things he's really really cool I. Uh, recommend checking out iZombie. It's great. It's no nowhere, no, not like the original comic book in, in, in many ways, but it does use uh, that all red style of art for its transitions and its intro. And um, the storyline plays a lot more like a TV friendly detective mystery. In fact, it kind of plays a bit like the comic book Chew, if you've never read it. Chew's pretty cool. It's uh, about a sequel path, a person who actually like, gets memories from eating anything. So if they eat a dead part of a dead body, like a hair or whatever, they can see what happened to that person previously. And in the case of I Zombie, it's like she takes on personality traits and skills, and of course the memories of their death. So it worked really well. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Um, I don't know if it, I don't know when it started back in again, but I've actually been behind for TV shows for a long time now. So I'm essentially fighting to catch up. So a recipe for Deadpool's delicious tacos, which I'm not going to share too quickly, but it's gone <laughs> because I'll probably make them myself sometime and do them as like a, a tasty video, um, a daily tell from Loot Crate. Uh, which Walking Dead character are you? Yeah, normally we don't do these books because they're slow to flick through to get the bloody information in. But I'll stop with this. This is the important one that we I kind of bring up every once in a while whenever I flick through it. The Mega Crate. This one's Mega Crate actually had a Deadpool-esque le motorcycle leathers and like up the triple X. A Negan figure, a uh, Evil Dead Necronomicon. Uh, yeah, it must be the Blu-ray set which has the, the Necronom leather skin and probably a dagger or something as well. No, it's just the skin. And a copy of the Death Note box set along with a big ass fucking TV. So, uh, and the mini crates were uh, iZombie and Plants vs. Zombies figures. So, yeah, those were the main. The, 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 it's always nice. It's always the daydream, the wish, the hope that somebody in Europe might actually get a fucking uh, mega crate at some point, but it's unlikely to happen. I had a quick conversation with um, Loot Crate over their, um, their, their Twitter channel. Was it Twitter or was it Facebook? I'm pretty sure it was on Facebook actually. Where I had, a, they were chatting about the, people were essentially saying like the, the, because the numbers of subscribers in the US is much higher, but that's the reason why we haven't seen an international winner of the crate so far. And um, with the, 
the minor distribution issues I think they've been having lately, uh, getting uh, put into countries, I'm sure they're going to kind of start doing uh, drop shipping from the UK of the individual items, so they actually have like a single point that actually um, shows. Uh, it essentially shows everything that they, or has everything that they need to put into the crates to actually share amongst all the others whenever they actually get around to it. Uh, you know what I mean? I got, sorry, I got distracted there because the camera battery just ran out and I might have to do this part again. But the, uh, the individual items being dropped off in a UK location or a, a European location of some sort, and then they actually have a loot crate or a mega crate for regions rather than actually having just the one considering how successful Loot Crate has been over the last wee while and uh, their massive kind of push to advertise and have specified subscription crates of individual designs but the, you know your Firefly ones or whatever else so uh, yeah I think they've, uh, they've they, they're missing a beat there by kind of having like a, a one big winner per region kind of thing rather than actually having just one big winner altogether because they still get away with it, it doesn't matter they're, people are going to buy the stuff no matter what so because my main camera has actually shut itself off and I now feel that I may have lost footage, I'm going to have to just hold this crate up and show it to you here on the main screen. So this is actually, of course, the good old watch, listen, play and share, because that's what we do here. We do, we share, we watch, we look, we play. Uh, crate for December, February, dead, and essentially what I would call the uh, dead, well, dead loot crate or dead loot, loot, loot pool. Pool loot, dead pool loot, loot pool cool. Yeah, whatever. Dead loot. <laughs> That's what this month's one was. Uh, thank you very much for watching the channel. Thank you very much for being here to check out the Loot Crate videos and any other content that we provide here on Pastiche of Skin. I hope you enjoyed the new set. Uh, we've obviously put up a video up before now for um, in introducing this new layout, which will change over time and has had its own teething issues with um, trying to get these angles right for the loot crates and for being able to work our broadcast and get lighting correct because it might be a little bit of glare on me from the way it's positioned but we'll work on it and get it better so i hope you actually enjoy the look of the look of the new set the um the tone of our new content and uh, i hope you appreciated my ryan reynolds and i hope to see you guys all in the next video so bye bye